Well, hello everyone. Tim Stack here from the Utah Education Network. Um, and I imagine if you're in this online multimedia iPad class, uh, you're probably sick of my tutorials. Um, so this is the last one for this week uh, that you will have to watch. Uh, so we've been talking about uh, these poster type project, creating a poster. Um, this one we've been talking. I just shared with you, and that for creating mind maps. I've got another one um, of that style called Lucid Charts, and this one is free. It's a Utah company. Uh, matter of fact, they are giving away some of their software, not Lucid Charts, because it is already free. Um, but eventually, it's going to be a paid version, and they are providing uh, their software to Utah teachers for free. So if you go to uan.org forward slash forward slash Lucid, they have um, a web version of Lucid Chart and one called Lucid Press which is a desktop publishing tool, although it's all in the browser. And it works great if you're a Microsoft publisher or Adobe Illustrator user or do those kinds of projects, creating newsletters um, and such, uh, postcards, threefold, brochures, all those kinds of things. Lucid Charts does, I mean, Lucid Press does a great job. So if you go to uan.org forward slash lucid, um, it'll show you how to sign up to get access to their free Lucid Press um, online uh, tool software. Um, Lucid Chart, it's an app. It's also an app. You can do it in the browser as well. But it is a diagramming slash mind mapping kind of a tool. And you can kind of see some of the examples here. So Poplet, um, in the previous tutorial, is a very simple, very quick um, tool. Not a lot of variety, but often great for um, just doing uh, simple concept mapping. Lucid Chart is kind of a much bigger uh, brother to that. So let's just say, uh, and they got a bunch of templates to start with as well. So I'm just going to start. Um, you can see these all these templates here that I could start with. I'm just going to start with a blank one. Okay, and then as this loads up, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, Oh, there we go. So I'll just rename this um, something like this. this. Is just a quick sample here, so you can see the basics of how to uh, how to build one of these. Uh, so already you can see it's a lot different than Poplet. A lot more options here. Uh, so there's my canvas out there on the right hand side. Um, you can see sort of the standard stuff. So I could put text on really quick. Um, and then there's these pre-made. Um, uh, shapes. So if I want to use one of these, right, I can drop that out. There is that one. I'll make it a little bit bigger. And of course, the text that's in there I can make the text a little bigger. Let me just type in something else. Maybe this is, we'll stick with just numbering, save. Um, and if I want that text, okay. Okay, won't worry about it too much. Now, um, as I bring out other shapes, you can see I can uh, fill them with different colors, make them different thicknesses. Whoops. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit to make my finger work a little bit better. And then when it comes time to, to draw the lines, the, the, the circles, I can just drag out connectors right from these, uh, these circles. So I've got a lot of different. Um, types of shapes here, um, different kind of types of containers. Here's just some um, shapes. Let me just bring out one of these for whatever reasons. Um, I think I want that one in the trash can. All right, so I have it, it's just a little bit more sophisticated of a tool. Okay, so there's that shape and um, I could doesn't doesn't have any text on it, but I could certainly write in text. And the most obvious one there is just stop. So I'll save that. It goes in, and I could even make the text white, and could play with that for a while and, and create um, a little more interesting mind mapping tool. So. Uh, 
I'm not going to spend too much time here. It's a little bit new to me as well. Um, but you can get the idea that I can create um, a little more sophisticated mind maps here, some better editing tools, font tools, um, organizational tools. Okay. And the templates are already made. So for the older students who want to make a little fancier concept map or a little fancier mind map, um, they're already here and there's a lot more um, objects here so I can even turn on user images so if I wanted to bring in have the ability to bring in images okay, of my own I can bring those in um, and I have to download some of these other other tools okay that would come in alright so you kind of start getting the idea here of some different um, different things I can add I don't think these have been downloaded yet, okay? Because I just turned them on. Um, and then once you're finished, okay? If I go um, back out, they sh they show up here, and I'm able to um, share these right from here, okay? So it gives me um, some nice, some pretty nice tools um, for creating and sharing mind mapping type tools. Um, I can also um, have the ability to share these in a way that um, that I can collaborate with other people. Okay, so it does have that those tools built in for collaboration as well. Okay, so um, I am going to let you check that out and play with it a little bit. You can see it's a little bit new to me, so I am struggling a little bit getting it to uh, do what I want it to do, um, but it looks like quite a good tool, a little more sophisticated than um, some of the other mind mapping tools that are out there, and it's free, so kind of a nice tool. Alright folks, so uh, that is Lucid Charts, so when you get a chance, go ahead and take a look at it and um, see what you can do. Thanks for listening and watching.